Did you know that Leonardo da Vinci had strabismus? Did you know that Leonardo da Vinci had a form of strabismus that could have facilitated his artistic work? Examination of six likely portraits and self-portraits of da Vinci shows that most paintings exhibit a consistent exotropic strabismus. The presence of exotropia, particularly if it was intermittent, may have contributed to da Vinci's exceptional ability to capture space on the flat canvas. In people with strabismus, the eyes don't align normally when the person is looking ahead. One or both of the eyes turn slightly inward or outward of center. Rembrandt and Picasso are artists who are also believed to have had the condition. Leonardo da Vinci had intermittent exotropia with the resulting ability to switch to monocular vision, which would perhaps explain his great ability for depicting the three-dimensional solidity of faces and objects. His outstanding attention to details, perspective and depth perception are explained by his condition. Mona Lisa's look is not focused and she suffered from sabismus too. Diagnosing an eye condition from art is challenging and still 